Cesar Romero back into the ring. Cassidy ascends to the top rope. Rocky slow to his feet. He turns. Orange Cassidy diving cross body. Cassidy's momentum carried him off Rocky Romero, but instead goes through. Look for the DDT again. Rocky countered. Vertical suplex. And Rocky turns the corner while maintaining control of the head of Orange Cassidy. Uh-oh. Orange Cassidy hung up. Yeah, man. On the ropes. Rocky likes the diving knee drop here. It's a precarious position to be in when you're hung on the ropes that way. Oh, yeah. One step ahead that That's time. Right. Yeah. You could see that coming almost. Shoulder to the midsection. Rocky anticipated the wild swing by Cassidy now. Rocky. Orange ain't going. Attempting to bring Orange Cassidy back into the ring. Rocky getting hung up on the on the top rope. Lance finds his footing on the apron and now. Rocky Romero, oh, the snap suplex on the apron. Orange Cassidy down on the floor. Rocky Romero with the advantage. And action in this one continues for the next 90 seconds in picture in picture. Don't go anywhere. Rocky Romero, I'm not sure if that was instinct or if that was intent, but either way, Orange Cassidy in a very troublesome situation here. Well, once again, Rocky Romero's on a little bit of a war path here after losing his title in Mexico. If he can take this international title tonight, mission accomplished. Rocky Romero returning Orange Cassidy back into the ring. The title can only change hands inside the ring. Rocky knows that as well as anybody. All right, he's going to shelve him outside again, though. Look at this. Oh, no, he's going to... Oh, he's going for that move again, right? Yeah, he's now thinking... It's going to be knee strike. It's going to be stops. It is the stops to the spine. Orange Cassidy, you see, clutching that lower back. Rocky Romero. The far leg hook. Cassidy able to kick out. Well, it's like you said, that lower back has been plaguing him for, for the better part of a year. And when you're a workhorse like Cassidy is, you never know when it's going to give out. And that's a terrifying situation. And he doesn't seem to be concerned about injuries or how much he puts his body through either, Chris. And that could be, that could work against him, obviously. Absolutely. Cassie trying to get the hands in the pockets, trying to unnerve Rocky Romero, but Rocky not letting it happen. The AEW International Championship on the line in our opening contest. Rocky Romero challenging freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. Rocky, he's been dominating the action, as we saw in picture in picture, but Orange Cassidy not out of this one yet, Chris. No, Orange is, uh, somehow it's like Popeye in the spinach. If he can put his hands in his pockets, he gets some extra strength, but he hasn't been able to do that just yet. And Rocky absorbing all those strikes from Orange Cassidy. This is the Orange Cassidy that I like. Put the uh, laziness aside and throw some ham bones in there. Absolutely. And he, oh, boy, that. <laughs> oh, the thrust kick connects. Rocky misses with the NZ Gary. Connects. Coming with that heel kick. Oh, it's punch! Out of nowhere, but can he capitalize on it as both of them are down? Yeah, he can. I mean, it, it's obviously he's favoring the back, as you can see. And Rocky's on his front side here. The crowd's showing their approval. Let's take one more look at this orange punch. Oh, wow. Target. Dropping Rocky Romero. But as we see Orange Cassidy still struggling to capitalize on it as Rocky is making the crawl over to the ropes. Yeah, compression on the spine, obviously. And he's still, as you can see, just has his, his fist digging into his lower back there. And Orange Cassidy has not been moving right. And now, oh. Here's the kicks, trying to get under the skin of Rocky Taunting. Romero. Taunting him. His, yeah, his kicks have been much more oh, aggressive lately. Oh, he's landing in there now. And now driving his boot into the chest of Rocky Romero. And then the wow. running PK! <laughs> he knocked him, he knocked him for, literally for a flip. He did, and now he threw that elbow pad down. That's he's usually, up. usually the precursor to the orange punch. As you see Trent oh. Romero. Orange took his eyes off of Rocky Romero, and Rocky coming over that top. He landed the knee, now the slice bread, the cover! Oh! Was Orange Cassidy having words with Trent Red at that time? It's certainly something worth keeping our eyes on, Tony, but 
Fans coming up tomorrow night live on Collision. Action continues with the Blue League of the Continental Classic. Then Wednesday night, Dynamite live on TBS. The finals of both the Blue League and the Gold League. We know the Gold League finals. Be John Moxley, Swerve Strickland, and Jay White as Rocky Romero. He's got Orange up. Look at this. Rocky's trying to take a page out of Trent Barretta's book there, but instead, Orange counters the roll up. And now, Beach Break. No, Rocky. Mm, the, the back's back. through the top as he comes through. Orange sits in. He's got the lights on. Wow, close. Cassidy very nearly got the win there, but Rocky Romero able to escape. Boot to the face. Rocky backed off, but he comes charging Again. in. Eats another boot from Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy diving. No, oh, the diving DDT was countered. The rising knee strike, and now Cassidy sends Rocky into the corner. No, Rocky comes back with the DDT. He turns one against Orange Cassidy, one of his moves. He's going to try beach break here. No, he's going to. No. Strong zero! Yeah, he one, goes. two! Oh! oh wow. wow! That's one of Trent Beretta's moves. And Trent looking on. I think a lot of a lot of conflict going on within Trent Beretta. Does he want to see Orange Cassidy retain? Or does he want to see his, his friend that predates Orange Cassidy? Does he yeah. want to see Rock Romero become international champion? I think he wants Rock Romero to win. You can see it, the betrayal. As, no, slice right off the ropes, avoided. Knee strike avoided. Orange oh, punch not oh, avoided. That's got to be the end of the line here. He didn't go down. The terror train is over. Can oh. he get it? Oh. Beach break. Nailed it. The cover. Two, three. No oh, winner of this match is still AEW International Champion, freshly squeezed, Orange. Cassidy. That was a gut check that time, Excalibur, to get him up and over for that beach break with that bad back. Yeah, I didn't think Orange Cassidy was going to do it. But there is something about that international championship. It pushes Orange Cassidy to another level. Heck of an effort, though, by Rocky Romero, Chris. Well, absolutely. You can see Orange Cassidy was so spent in the end. He was barely able to cover him for that three count. But Rocky was out, out, out on his back. And what a great contest. Like I said, once again, Rocky Romero, a tremendous pro wrestler, uh, as well as being a tremendous liaison for all of us whenever we head to New Japan. Orange Cassidy enjoying his second reign. Now six successful defenses of that international championship. That young fan getting something to remember. Her experience here tonight at Rampage by. Tony Schiavone, you've got to get the people what they want. They want to hear from Chris Statlander. And right now, Orange Cassidy, Trent Moretta, bringing Rocky Romero up to his feet. And you know what, Chris Jericho? They've got to give the people what they want.